Previously, we spent a couple hours exploring Makapuya Island. What a beautiful place! If you haven't seen that video, it's worth going back for. But it looks like this next island has a sandbar on it. Hopefully, this is just as incredible. God, even this walk back is just insane. I feel like I haven't seen something like that since El Nido, to be honest. Palawan's just on a different level, legitimately. I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. Now we're on to our greatest adventure yet. Exploring the jaw-dropping municipalities of Coron and Buswanga in the province of Palawan. Come sir, let's go to the Taytayan Island. So we have 30 minutes. So if you have your own uh, sand flag, you should apply now because it's too hot there. No cottage? There's no cottage there. Okay, yeah, I need to reapply, guys. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Sorry you're watching this video, you should have just been surprised. So windy here, I hope you guys will be able to hear us okay. It's a mostly just a big nice sandbar here, but he said you can swim, but if you do, you have to wear slippers or like water shoes because he said there's always sting right here anytime he snorkels. Uh, we've only got an hour here, I'm gonna prioritize pictures and drone over swimming because I know we have a snorkel spot. You think they can hear us? Hopefully you can hear us! It's so windy. Let's like set up over here so I can sit under the shade when I fly. There. Yeah, there's a lot of people... Oh! There's a lot of people on the... What is this? <laughs> Sandbar. <laughs> of course. This dog is having a time of his life.
They're biting you? Yeah, they bite. Sand sharks. Sand ants? Probably not sharks. I flew the drone. Uh, I got some really nice shots, but I had to go quick. And man, there's more I could have got. I'm a little bit sad, but I had to bring it down because the wind is really strong here. And when you go higher, it's even stronger. It was giving me so many warnings. And I kept trying to push it a little bit further. And finally, I'm like, ah, all right, I don't want to. I don't want to lose the drone. I mean, I don't think it would fall out of the sky, but I made sure to get the nice shots first. Now we're going to go walk down and check out the sandbar. I'm really glad they give us so much time here. Like, they're really generous with how long you get. We get a whole hour here on just this sandbar. It's plenty of time. God dang, guys, look at that. I mean, it's just some rocks and crap, but like, it's so beautiful. The color is so nice. His eye is getting torn apart by these sea ants or sand ants, whatever they are. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. No. For now. His eye pose. Wow. <laughs> so one of our guides said it's called Ditaitayan Island. Ditaitayan. <laughs> cool. Very nice. We still have one more island after this. We're going to go up to the end of the sandbar. Sick, huh? What's Dita Dayan mean? I don't know. <laughs> it might just be a nice name. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. What? That's what always happens. I'm trying to film and then the phone's like, take a, take a picture of me, Cody, please take a picture. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wait, wait. Three, two, one. Maybe we're up here, over here. Three, two, one. Maybe we're down here, down here, down here. Three, two, one. And now she won't like it and I'll have to do it again. Because <laughs> I really wants like a shot, like down the sandbar, you know, with nobody on it. Some of the other people from our tour just decided to tan at the very tip of the sandbar. <laughs> when they could have tanned anywhere. I mean, I'm not saying it's not okay, you know. This is, this is just how it is. If you do a joiner tour, I guess this is what you have to deal with. Uh, it's fine, it's just a little, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> Another group's on the way. I mean, we might be getting lucky. Like, there could be normally like three or four groups here. I wonder if before COVID, like how crowded this thing would be. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, they're definitely coming in here. Isai, if we're gonna take a picture, we better do it. Even more competition. I know I've said this in every video of the run so far, but like, unbelievable. This is so beautiful. Ah, this whole trip has just been so relaxing and fantastic so far. Okay, let's get the shot. Okay. That one is Koran Island, which is not where we came from. We came from Botswana. Wow, how nice. He just called us back. An hour goes so fast. I'm telling you on the other island, two hours went quick. Obviously an hour is gonna go even faster, but man, I believe it was an hour, but that was fast. <sighs> Off to the next island, this was awesome. Hopefully the next island's less windy, guys. Man, it's a... Uh, your expectation of a sandbar is like, oh, so beautiful. But the reality is like, oh, tornado. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's definitely windy, no doubt about it. Be careful. Thank you. All right. Off to the next island. 
This small secluded island is just as beautiful as the last two. But oh look, it has a huge reef surrounding it. The snorkeling here should be amazing. Join us next time as we venture the last stop of the island escapade tour. You can jump over there now by clicking the video on your screen.